All right, we are talking about the theme customizer in this lesson. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over to my computer so I can walk you through all of the pieces. All right, so when you've logged into Shopify, and this is the first time you've ever logged in here, you're gonna to come to this dashboard. Now, one of the things that you might be wondering is where are, where is my online store? Where is my um, uh, navigation to change my theme customizer? I only see these following items on the left-hand side. Now, you may or may not have online store added underneath sales channel. If you don't, and it's unpinned, so for example, you come into your, um, into your uh, uh, dashboard and you don't know where you go and actually edit your site. So what you wanna do is there's this, a button on the left-hand side that's called sales channels. When you click on this, it's gonna drop down the search. So if you look up here, you can see it's gone and dropped down the search here. The one we're looking for is online store. Once you click on online store, it's going to add a new navigation to the left-hand side. Now here's what I recommend. I highly, highly recommend you pin this because I mean, this is your online store. You're gonna be modifying your online store quite a bit and you don't wanna to have to have four or five clicks every time you go into it. So we want that online store uh, navigation pinned right at the top. This is where we're gonna go in and edit our theme. Now, if you're loading up Shopify for the first time, it's going to install the Dawn theme by default. It's the first theme that they install. If you have Shopify for a little bit of a while and you wanna try out Dawn theme for online store 2.0, you're gonna to need to install it. So the way you do that is you go to the bottom of the theme page and it's got popular themes and it's got the Dawn theme by Shopify. You hit add and bam, it's gonna throw it directly into your theme customizer. Now you can choose to whether have it as a, uh, a, a draft theme or the live theme. When you add it, it's gonna add it as a draft theme into the theme library. I have gone and published one because I don't wanna worry about for this demo uh, preview links and stuff like that and this is a demo store. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the customize button here. Uh, if we zoom in here, this is the button we wanna go into in order to customize our theme. So let's go into the theme customizer. All right, so we are in the theme customizer. I'm gonna go over the overall things around the outside so you know where we're working. First, on the top left, if we start in the top left-hand corner, we have our exit. This is what takes us out. The next, we have our theme name and we have our status. Which one are we working on? Are we working on the draft one or are we working on the live one? And then you have the skewer menu or the meatball menu, whichever one you wanna call it. And if you hit that drop down, you've got a couple of options. You've got your version number in here. So this is important because uh, there are versions that continually being updated all the time. If they're a point, point zero before the point zero, it's a minor update, maybe a security update or a bug update. If it's a point one, it's a it's not a major update, but it is a significant update. So there's probably a new feature that has come out. And then if it is a, um, a, a the first number, that means it's a complete update, which means you pr probably need to rebuild your store on that new theme. Um, it's got the designer down below. So if you're wondering who made your theme, it's gonna have that there. We have shortcuts to edit code. We are not gonna go over any code editing in this lesson. We are only gonna do no code options on this one. But this is where you're gonna go and get into the HTML and the CSS and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, you've got your default theme content. So what are the, what's the content that's gonna get loaded into the theme by default? We'll go over that. Uh, the next is how we're gonna view this um, this theme. Now, if you're using a development theme, it's not the active theme, this is where you're gonna to go to create a preview link our documentation, and if you need support. Also, if you need support, you can contact my company, Sumble. We would be happy to help you figure anything out for here. All right, moving along the top menu, we now have our page template selector. So if you drop this down, it's gonna show you all of the different templates inside of Shopify, how they're all set up. So you've got homepage, you've got products, you've got collections, you've got collection lists, you've got pages, blogs, blog posts, cart, and checkout. We're gonna use this a lot when we start going through the theme customizer because I'm gonna show you how to preview the stuff that you're creating. Next, you have this here, which is the inspector. Um, if you're on an element, you see this, these blue lines show up around an element. This here, this here, this is being done by the inspector. If you turn this off, you no longer have those blue elements showing up. So you can use the site as you want and turn that back on. One thing I'm gonna mention now is that if you're using custom JavaScripts inside the uh, theme customizer, they won't work. This customizer disables all JavaScript stuff. So say you've installed a uh, custom code and you can't figure out why it's not working, it won't work as a previewer inside the theme customizer. 
All right, moving along on the top right hand corner, we have our type. So we have whether we want preview on mobile, or whether we want to preview it on desktop or for full screen. To be honest, I highly recommend you start on mobile. Don't even look at the desktop yet. Most users are going to be using your website on mobile. You need to get the mobile part first right. It's easier to change the desktop experience later on, but the mobile version should be paramount for all e-commerce stuff. We've got our undo and our redo buttons, and then we have our save button uh, as well. Uh, along the left-hand side, we have three buttons to keep in mind. We have our sections, so this is where we're going to be moving our stuff around. We then have our theme settings, so these are global settings. These are things for the entire website. Um, and then finally, we have embedded apps. This is a new upgrade to Shopify, which instead of copying the app code into the theme, you just install it on the store. Um, it installs the code for you. And then if you remove it, it removes the code for you, which is a huge, huge upgrade because before Shopify would leave code on your site and it would slow down if you installed a bunch of apps and stuff like that. With new embedded apps, that is no longer a problem. All right. And then along this drop down menu here, this is where we're going to do be doing most of our work. Uh, when we click on an element, it will either load up on the left hand side, depending on your monitor size. I have a smaller monitor so that we get this nice layout with my face and the, the stuff over there. Um, but if you have a wider monitor, what will happen is this stuff will kick over to the right hand side and it'll show up here um, on, on, on this side over here. Um, so just remember that if you're like, why is it doesn't look the same on my computer as it does on his? It's because the things switch depending on the size of the screen. All right, that is a complete overview of the Theme Customizer dashboard. Next, we're gonna go into creating templates and how we use templates in order to change the content uh, depending on which kind of page that we're on. So stay tuned for that next.